Guess who's back? Me. Good morning to everyone and welcome back to my channel. I know I haven't been filming for a longer period and I think that's the longest I've ever done as a break from my YouTube since I started filming five or six years ago. So for those of you who missed me, I'm sorry, but the good news is that I'm back. And for those of you who didn't miss me, why are you even watching this video? That's a question. Anyway, it's morning and it's not so sunny, but it's so hot. Venice became so hot in the past two or three weeks. So right now we're all in dresses and summer clothes, as you can see. This morning I'm eating overnight oatmeal because I usually do that now these days when I'm going to university, so I'm lazy to do anything in the morning. And then breakfast is ready from yesterday and also cold, which is refreshing. So I just put oats. I recently bought soy milk with vanilla and it's delicious in this combination. I use it only for this. I mean, I don't drink milk besides this. So it gives also this vanilla taste and then I put cinnamon, some almonds, honey and also some fruits, whatever I have these days and yesterday I bought peaches so that's why. Usually it's strawberries or banana but I wanted to try something else. Also somehow peaches taste less artificial than strawberries, especially because I come from the country where everything is more or less natural. And I've spent my summers in village and so I know how the real fruit tastes so whatever I buy in supermarket it's not that maybe one day I'll have my own garden this week I have last week of university which is intensive week and then we have studio every day so basically it's like consultations we don't have any lectures we just do our project and then we go show them we can do it every day though but I think we can show them twice this week so today's Tuesday and then today my group is presenting. Maybe I'll show you briefly today what we've been doing so far, but usually, I mean, I will show you everything in the last video of like exam period as always. Also something else that is good is there are so many good things actually and we got a fridge. Just want to say in the beginning of this video, I've been living my best life in the past month. So that's one of the reasons why I wasn't filming. I tried not to do anything, literally, but we'll talk about it later throughout the video. Love ya and see you later. Okay, now I came home and I'm ready for gym, as you can see, because I have gym in my residence. As I mentioned in some of my previous videos, I don't know if you remember. So I just wanted to let you know what happened to me today. And I'm very, very lucky, obviously, because this can't happen to anyone else for sure. So as I told you, our intensive week just started, which means I need to work a bit more than any other week. and. For that I obviously need my laptop because I'm an architecture student and that is our tool. The thing that happened is I was normally working on my laptop and I just moved the screen back and forth a bit just to see better but I do that all the time. So right now uh, the screen just turned off. It's not completely black but it's as if brightness is minus 200. So that's one nice thing that happened today. So now I decided to go to gym because Honestly, I don't know what else to do. I can't use my laptop. So now I'll go and run for a bit and then hopefully I'll feel better because this day just stressed me out and I'm laughing because I just can't believe what happened to me. But obviously we need to keep the positive attitude and I was about to cry at one moment, but then I was like, okay, there's a solution. I can connect it to some other screen and it's gonna be okay. So. My tip of the day, just calm down when it's stressful and find another solution. Everything is okay. Let's go run.
I just had dinner and I forgot to film it so I will include here amazing dinner that my friend made for me um, I'm so happy when someone else cooks for me like it's the best and also he gave me HDMI cable so that I can connect my laptop to the screen I hope it's not how I will do it because tomorrow actually I found the store in Mestre which is the mainland of Venice so I will go tomorrow morning and try to fix something and until then I guess that's how I'll be working I mean I need my keyboard to type everything and then I guess the screen is up here I also washed my hair after gym of course because I died so it was very intense but I feel so good after gym and I feel like I could do anything now and I don't know maybe I'll go out if my friend says yes but if not then I'll just stay home and work probably Good morning everyone, I just wanted to update you about my laptop, if anyone cares. I just went to Vestre and left it there in service and they told me it will be done in 3-4 days, which means next week, which means my intensive week is officially over because I can't do anything without my laptop. I mean that's bad because I can't help my group, but on the other hand we presented most of it and we know what we have to change so it's not that big of a deal so now i came back and i changed and it's so hot outside but somehow cloudy and very tough weather if you know what i mean i guess because venice is a humid place so that's why so now i'm going to meet my friend for coffee and then later during the day i don't know what will i do i'm just a bit pissed that this video will not be out this week as i wanted but it's okay, next week you will see me. I'm in a rush now, so I'll talk to you about it all later. Quick outfit check. We have this beautiful dress from Belgrade from many, many years ago. It was first my sister's dress and then she gave me. I decided to be a bit colorful today and everything else is black, shoes, bag and of course my glasses because I can't look without them. Just to let you know, after all, it is a beach day, so let's go! People who live next to the sea, use it, because you are the luckiest people in the world, trust me. Last month has been amazing and I'm really really sorry that I wasn't filming for so long especially because I also like watching my old videos and seeing what I've been doing in some period but at some point I really just wanted to enjoy and not feel any kind of pressure because uh, we had a bit of slower vibe at university so I didn't have to work so hard at that moment so I just let every type of work go and I was like okay Anna now is the time when you enjoy and you do nothing and you like it but even in this moment I wish I had a person who will film my life for me and edit videos and be like side person just so I can see what I've been doing also uh, anyway regarding university and my master degree how is it going it's going well this semester I think we had six 
subjects when I counted. I don't even know how many. I will show you that probably in some of the next videos, which is mostly about the exam period for those of you who are interested more in architecture and my master's degree. But for those of you who are just watching me maybe for my life in Venice or something, um, I just like want to mention it because of course university here is part of my life and the reason why I'm in the first place here. So just wanted to let you know one exam is passed with maximum points. It was amazing. My group was amazing and we were all so happy um, to work together on it because it was very fun. We actually did just a presentation on one architect. So we did it in like a funny way and then professor liked it so much. So that went well. Then two subjects we were doing with the same professor so actually I didn't have to take both of them but I wanted because if I finish it now I don't have to do it in the next semester so it's of course easier to finish everything before. So now I'm left with these three subjects. Two of them are projects and one is like main studio which I'm doing in a group and another project is more conceptual like basically making a pavilion of lights so I'm doing that alone and Hopefully I will finish it this week when I get my laptop back. And the last exam actually that I have before these two projects is my Italian exam. And if you're wondering how is my Italian going, amazing because even when I say basic things in a restaurant or a cafe or whatever, they reply to me in English. So these kind of moments make me really like sad and like what's happening? But yeah, it is what it is. About parties and like social life, it's amazing. We have gatherings and parties every week. And then uh, because I live in student residence here, um, they started hosting parties every Thursday. So basically my weekend and parties start on Thursday. And then we just keep going on Friday and Saturday, sometimes even Sundays, which is crazy because I'm totally not used to parties. And in Belgrade, I don't even like going out that much because it's so much more complicated. You need to get ready. You need to go somewhere to drive to some place. But here it's so easy, like I just get down on Thursday and party is in front of my house. Somehow I don't feel that anything is far away, even though I have to walk 30 or 40 minutes to some place in Venice. I don't feel like I'm putting so much effort and like oof, going out and everything because really uh, I'm, I'm, I wasn't a party girl even in high school or at my university in Belgrade. I mean, mostly it was COVID time, so we didn't even have any parties. But definitely here I'm completely living this student vibe life that I was missing there. And I'm so happy about it also. And recently we started even doing beach parties because last week, even during the day, it was like 26, 27, which is perfect, like not so hot, but you can still go to the beach. So I'm very, very happy to be able to go to the beach whenever I want. And definitely I realized that I want to live somewhere where I have beach because otherwise I'm not happy completely. Yeah, that's my final conclusion of life choices. And I really, really hope that I'll be able to live one day somewhere where it's beach, maybe Barcelona. I will stay in Venice until the end of June. So when I finish exams, I will stay for two more weeks just to chill and go to the beach and, you know, live my best life because actually I'm paying for this room for the whole month so I don't want to go back to Belgrade before if I don't have to and I don't have anything to do there so in 20 minutes I have a class so I should probably get going if you came till the end thank you so much and I will see you soon in my next video bye bye